These days, there's a lot going on in the planet. We're always trying to work out what we believe in and what we don't, what we see, what's true and what's not. But when it comes down to it, seeing is believing. It's very useful to be region-based, but that's not where satellites shine. We want to be able to have an eye on the world. And so we have this constellation of satellites. They're all very small, they're quite agile. We can see anywhere in the world. And then we came out with this Dwell product, this crazy idea to stare at the ground for 25 seconds as the satellite flies past. And from that came out a whole range of new capabilities like being able to do video and to identify objects scattering from different directions, then colorize that. But there's a secret here. That wasn't the intent. The real issue was, how do we focus imagery for 25 centimeter resolution? Wouldn't it be great to make this a bit better? And that's where Dwell Precise comes in. For our standard Dwell product, we actually have a bandwidth which determines our resolution, which is 300 megahertz. We also can double our bandwidth, which is our Spotlight Fine product, but we can actually double that again. And that gives us this staring product where we can look at the ground, we can observe it over time, observe it over direction through color, but the resolution is four times better. That's the game changer. When we get down to 25 centimeter resolution, we're in the regime of being able to recognize objects straight away. So as soon as a satellite flies over, we see this bright object on the battlefield or on the airfield, and we can very quickly characterize exactly what that is, which means that the military decision makers have suddenly got a forward pass. They could suddenly make a very quick decision about how to respond to what they're seeing, and it's quite unique, actually. We've always been passionate advocates for trying to make the world a safer place. And seeing for yourself is a great way to actually prove or disprove your own theories and your own hypotheses.